Hey everybody, John Schuler, uh, Pure Illinois. We're going to be doing a little thing we call, I like to call Aerocross for Dummies today. Uh, some of us aren't lucky enough to be born in a place where there's hills and runways every other 10 feet. Some of us are live in a place where there's corn and wide open fields and you can land just about anywhere at any time. And today what we're going to be doing is going to some of these uh, non-challenging grass strips that we're just going to kind of fly into, but we're going to see if we can land at quite a few of them uh, in, the, uh, in about an hour and a half or so. And since there's no real challenge to it, uh, there's no wires really, there's, there's not a whole lot. Uh, and so we're going to call it Aerocross for Dummies, but it's still fun. Okay, we're departing 3 Mike Yankee, Peoria, Illinois. Our wind is out of the uh, south uh, at about 6 knots. Up to about 1,200 feet, the uh, wind increases. Uh, it's about 30 knots, a little wind shear expected. This is Parrish, it's about uh, three miles uh, west of Washburn, uh, Illinois. So you have to fly through these little trees here. And oh, we get a little bouncy bounce going there, okay. Hey, what's that big airport down there? It's Charlie 75, Marshall County. Of course, I'm not going to use the runway. That really wouldn't be much fun. Hey, and that one's a little smoother. This is Villager near Henry, Illinois. You can see the hazardous approach with all the obstacles surrounding the runway. And again, I grease one in there. This is Daniels near Putnam, Illinois. Uh, duck hunt down there to the uh, lower right there. With all the bloody corn and timber. And it has a, uh, an approach that is again over uh, pretty much an open field. And oh, that one's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Taking off in the other direction since I was uh, landing to the west, I'll take off to the east. Moving along here is uh, what we call it two docks because their hangar is nicer than my house. And again, a good arrow cross landing and with power to it. And just keep on going to our next destination. Next destination is Edgar Reed. Approach us over a couple of trees, come down, and it's a little bit of a hilly runway. Oh, there's a bounce, another bounce, and another one. I think it was the hills and the runway that caused that to be a one on a scale of ten. Moving along on Reed. Cruising into Rinkenberger. Here we got some trees right over there. And oh, we kick in a little slip, very Greg Swingle-ish. And there we go, landing it down. I'm going to hang left here and take off to the south. And hang an immediate right to the west there. And we'll be landing at. Uh, Bradford crop dust. 
hazardous because you have to cross over the tracks and in case there's a train coming, you have to watch out for the train. I've never seen a train there, by the way. And oh, that one turned out a little bit better. And here we have crop dust field. Oh, well, that's pretty good, kind of bounced it once. And off we go again, heading off to the other, another field. This would be crop dust Princeville. This one does indeed have a wire at this uh, at the west end here that we cross it over. There's a guy in a pickup truck recording my end number, report me. And this would be crop dust Edelstein. This one is interesting because there's a building with a uh, open door at the end of it. Don't get any ideas thinking about flying through the open door. Now we go over to Sam Sisks. Of course, you have to watch out for the cars crossing the front of the road. Very nice runway. Sam lives here. And that's near Dunlap, Illinois. And we'll hit the power and head back to Three Mike Yankee, which will complete our arrow cross. Here we are back at Mount Holly Airport. Since I used the new asphalt in the beginning, I'm going to skip it this time and find some grass. for dummies. Alright, that was Aerocross for dummies. Uh, you know, you don't have to time it. Forgot to turn the clock on. Um, I left my I left my checkered flag in the hangar and uh, so I just landed and took off a lot and that's really a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, hope you enjoy the film, Arrow Cross for Dummies, and hope to see you again uh, next time on uh, Cubanaut 875's YouTube channel.